everyone, it's Catherine here. Thanks for joining me on my channel. As you can see, I'm scrapbooking these photos of my son at the beach. And this layout is for Scrap the Boys for the month of January. And you would have seen from the introduction of this video, it was this gorgeous peacock mood board. And so when I saw this mood board, I was really drawn to the uh, Coco Vanilla Studio Happiness Collection. It has these beautiful um, bluey greeny colours and I thought um, yeah I could mix in some wood grain and those pops of orange from this collection to create this layout. So I'm just going ahead and getting the background pa papers ready for my um, page and I'm gutting this beautiful wood grain because you know it's it's Coco Vanilla Studio wood grain and I want to make sure I can use it um, either for photo matting or on the other side of that paper is um, some butterflies. So I wanted to make sure that I could use it for that as well. So I am just taking some double sided tape here um, to adhere this other piece of paper to it. So the wood grain paper is the bright and beautiful paper and it's got those lovely butterflies on the back and that dotted paper is called it's the cut apart sheet and it's called the little things um, and I'm adhering it in this way so that I'm able to stitch around the edge I'll get my machine out in a moment but before I do that I just realized I wanted to kind of rough up the edges here so I'm using this edge distressor tool and I'm just going around the edges and um, distressing those and then I'll stick that back down and just cleaning up after myself. So now sticking that back down on that lovely wood grain paper. I'm just trying to line it up. Um, and I like to do it this way because it means I, f I feel like I can get a little bit straighter edge. And also um, I'm doing it in the center so that I um, don't get my machine um, needle stuck in any any glue or any um, sticky there. So I just go ahead and um, run my sewing machine around the edges with some white cotton and I'm just pulling through those um, those edges just to the back and I'll sticky tape them down just so that they hold. So while I'm doing that, I thought I'd let you know that there's a link in the description below to join the Scrap the Boys Facebook page. That's where you'll be able to go and you know, see some of the inspiration from the design team and also um, enter for the challenge. There's also a blog. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below. While I've been letting you know about all the different areas to be able to enter and get inspiration for this challenge, I'm just going ahead and matting my photos here. I had already matted them on white cardstock and these photos are printed at 3x4 and so I'm just matting them on this blue paper. This is the Good Vibes paper from the Happiness Collection. And so I'm just trimming around the edges. I will go ahead and distress the edges here. Um, and I'm also going to mat it on this wood grain. So just distressing the edges and roughing them up there. This layout um, was a pretty simple one. I didn't have much of a plan when I first started. Um, you know, I knew I wanted to use these three different papers because they fitted in with the mood board, um, but I didn't really have a plan for this layout. But because I had limited the supplies I was using, um, so not only the papers, but also the ephemera, um, this came together pretty quickly. So again, I'm just matting these photos on this wood grain and I'm just using my scissors to trim around. Sometimes I like really straight edges and I'll use um, the guillotine but you know I was roughing up the edges so it didn't matter so much and then I decided to take a strip of this paper, this good vibes paper again and lay it across um, you know not not quite center of um, of this layout and as you can see I've got limited um, ephemera pieces here so I've just got some pops of orange some of the blue so the deeper blue and the lighter kind of greeny blue and I'm just playing around seeing what I can make work 
Um, this collection is gorgeous, so it was pretty easy to kind of, um, you know, get the lay layout happening. And it was nice to just um, have a bit of a play with this layout. Like I said, it came together really easily. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think that's what's great about having some mood board challenges. You can kind of take it in a whole range of different directions. Um, you know, you're not restricted too much and it just sparks that bit of creativity. So I'm just laying a couple of these pieces out and going ahead and cutting a few things from that cut apart sheet that I'd sort of trimmed down. Um, just to add to those ephemera pieces. Um, but I'm in, in essence, I'm just creating two clusters kind of on a diagonal across this page. Um, yeah, I just went with the two different clusters because I felt like it fitted around, um, you know, the look of the layout that I was going for. I just cut off that um, bit of um, tag there just so I could use it to um, put a date at some point. So now I'm just going to go ahead, take all of that off and rough up this edge because I'm also going to stitch around it and then um, stick it down to the background paper there and as you can see I get out my sewing machine again and just stitch around the edge of that and then I'm going to use some double-sided tape just um, to stick it down so I'm just um, again pulling through those um, cotton pieces to the back and using the double-sided tape just to stick that down in place so it won't um, it won't move anywhere and yeah so just again using some double-sided tape getting that stuck down um, not much really changes for this layout um, while I'm sticking that down I thought I'd give you a little bit of background about these photos so these photos were taken of my son Sebastian um, during lockdown so it was it was winter here so I think these were taken in July and to be honest, like it was such a gorgeous day. We live right, you know, not far from the beach. And even though it was freezing cold, he really wanted to go in the water. So um, he was just running in and out of the edge of the water near one of the piers um, near our house. And it was just so beautiful. It was such a glorious day. We'd walk down there um, with one of our dogs and just spent the time there playing and enjoying you know our hour of exercise while we're in lockdown um but yeah as you can see I kind of went ahead and um I'm now sticking everything down I did make sure that that strip of paper was straight by using my t-square ruler and as you can see I'm just doing a mix of um different things to stick these clusters down here so where I needed to I bumped some of those like I bumped the photo up on foam tape and I'm just sticking those together now with some double-sided tape um yeah, so some things I bump up on foam just to give it a little bit more dimension um, and sort of sit flat um, with the rest of um, the layout. So this title here is called Happy Times and it's just one of the die cut pieces um, from the ephemera pack and I just needed to bump it up on two lots of foam there just so that it did sit flat against that other photo that had foam. So as you can see just going ahead and sticking that down and so like I said before if you're looking for some inspiration and have lots of boy photos to scrap go ahead and check out um, the blog post that's linked in the description below um, there'll be lots of inspiration there looking at this layout it's now hard to believe that this was probably these photos were probably taken six months ago now that it's the first of January 2021 um it's just yeah it's crazy to see how quickly the year's gone but um yeah it's been super fun just creating for scrap the boys once a month I really highly encourage you to go and um yeah check everything out and um enter the challenges each month we've got some really um fun challenges challenges coming up over the next year and yeah I just really enjoy seeing other people's creativity with boy layouts don't get me wrong I like seeing florals and all different sorts of um, products used on boy layouts but it's so nice to see boys being scrapped um, 
you know, I've, I've only got a son, so, you know, I need all the inspiration I can get. You know, I do try and scrap myself, but um, my son, Sebastian, is, you know, generally the theme of my layouts. And so, yeah, if you've got boys as well, um, I, yeah, I encourage you to go and um, check out everyone's layouts and enter the challenge. So as you can see, I'm just using a mix of wet glue and this roller adhesive just to stick everything down. And like I said, not much changed in um, in terms of this layout. I Like I said, I've got these two clusters happening on our diagonal, um, you know, butterflies in each, flowers in each cluster, and a real mix of colors. Um, and the heart sort of, you know, um, going off into those two clusters and to finish off the layout I'm just using some of this Heidi Swap I think it's in a coral color it's quite old so I didn't find it was working too well it um, you know I uh, shaken it up a little bit but it was kind of um, yeah a bit funny so it was a bit hard to um, drop here and I do you know um, you'll see in a moment I get some quite big um, droplets around but um, you know I, I like the color and it just matched in with the color scheme of the mood board so I'm just going to finish off with that um, and then I will add some some gold um, glitter spray by Jen Hatfield um, I've been using that as well as the Heidi Swap um, gold color shine um, on my layouts and I, yeah I tend to always finish my layouts with the gold splatters it's just you know I see a lot of people do it and I think yeah it just finishes off the layout and I like how it looks um, so as you can see yeah, I'm just splattering that down um, getting a good mix of that around the different clusters but I just thought I had say thank you very much for joining me today I really appreciate your time in watching this and I hope you can come across and join the challenge bye mm -hmm.